So you may be wondering what you will learn in this tutorial series. Some of the topics that will be covered in these 18 lessons are the overall workflow of producing an animation in 3ds Max. Many people take the time to learn 3ds Max very well, but do not understand the overall workflow of 3D animation production. In order to make it a cost-effective process, it's important to understand how to quickly move through the various stages of animation production. Pre-production planning is a very important aspect of the overall process of 3D animation production. During this phase of the process, sketches are created for the client, so the client is able to sign off on the project prior to any production work. This sketch is called a storyboard. It outlines just what is expected of the animation so that everyone understands what the final product should look like. If you don't want to model in 3ds Max, it's not a problem. However, you do need to understand how to model in order to correct problems you'll have when you import models from other programs. This is why it's important to learn the fundamentals of modeling. We'll cover some of the common workflow techniques, the interface, the major concepts of how to model in 3ds Max. One very important point that I'd like to stress is that you have to work efficiently. For example, if you're bringing in a file from Revit or Inventor, there's a good chance that a lot of information will come into the scene that you don't need for the animation or image that you're producing. That extra information is just a waste of time and computer resources, so it's important to be efficient in modeling no matter which program you use. Applying materials and lights is in many ways what 3ds Max is all about. This is where developing your skills can really contribute to the visual quality of your final production. It is entirely possible that you can take a poorly made 3D model and make it look fantastic just by adding well-created materials and properly set up lighting. On the other hand, you can take a meticulously crafted model and make it look bad fairly easily. So we're going to go through an overview of how to apply materials, how to create lights, and how that fits into the production process. Does your production include animation? If it does, it's important to realize that animation can be very difficult and time-consuming to create properly. In these lessons, you will learn how to animate effectively using the most efficient methods. We'll discuss this and we'll look at the process of animating a camera and objects in the scene. One of the biggest issues with 3D animation production is long render times. Long render times are not cost effective in any production, unless the client is willing to pay for long render times. However, most clients are few and far between. Because of this, it's important to be able to minimize your render times. We're going to take a look at several options dealing with modeling, materials, lighting, and compositing that will go a long way to reducing your render times. Once you've rendered all your images, in order to be able to play them back and develop the storyline that was formed in the pre-production planning stage, you'll need to assemble the sequences together into a completed production. This is accomplished both inside of 3ds Max and outside using a program like Autodesk Composite to add animation layers to the final production. This aspect of production is probably the most difficult to really get a good understanding of. If you study feature film and animation, you'll notice that editing is critical to the success of the film. In order to make your final production one that people will want to watch again and again, it's good to learn some of the techniques used in feature film production. By creating very short segments and stitching them together, you can very effectively create dynamic productions. Next, we'll examine special effects, IK, and scripting. In many animations, special effects add to the look of the final animation, whether it's adding particles to create rain or a trail of pixie dust for a flying logo. IK and rigging is another helpful animation technique that can make animating complex characters and mechanical structures significantly easier, maximizing your productivity. Another technique that can maximize animation productivity is dynamics. The simulation of how objects interact using real physics 
to calculate the motion of those objects. This can greatly increase the realism of your animation. MaxScript is an extremely powerful scripting language that's built into 3ds Max. It gives you the tools to create new objects, script repetitive animation or modeling tasks, or nearly anything else that you may need from your animation. Finally, we'll look at one set of tools specific to 3ds Max design that go outside the realm of animation production. These deal with lighting analysis for architecture and interiors that allow architects and lighting designers to evaluate an interior for daylight analysis and LEED 8.1 certification.